Yo guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video and today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a beginner's guide on how to use Sage. Hey guys, first of all, I want to thank you for stopping by. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And also I'm going to quickly give a quick shout out to Bravity M for this cool sub graphic. This like small, like the small gif which you see on everyone else's YouTube videos. If you go, if you want to get something like I've got, make sure to go check out Bravity M's YouTube video on it. He's got a free download to it, and yeah, the guys are incredible. Make sure to go check it out. And now, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so this is going to be a bit of a different video to what I'm used to. I'm normally doing like sort of G Fuel stuff or top sites so like real life guides for content. So this is going to be something completely different for me. But I want to be giving you guys a beginner's guide on how to use Sage. I know a lot of you have probably got Valorant already and probably understand the basis of most characters. But for the people who still either haven't got their key yet or have only just got their key and they're trying to understand how the game works, this is for them. So if this does help you out, make sure to leave a like, like I said. And I'll probably make more of these videos, whether it's on this game on how to use other characters or on different games on how to use different characters or weapons. So yeah, guys, let's get straight into this. Alright, so first thing to start off with, you've got Arrow. Sage's abilities, you've got the Barrier Orb, the Slow Orb, and Healing Orb, and then you've got her Ultimate, which is her Resurrection Orb. Right, so first off, the Barrier Orb, um, equip a Barrier Orb, Fire Place, a Solid Wall, Alt Fire Rotates the target R, so basically the wall, Fire Orb, equip a, a Slow Orb, Fire to throw a Slow Orb forward that detonates upon landing, creating a lingering field that slows players caught inside of it, and finally we've got the Healing Orb, Press fire to um, over the cross of a damaged ally and you'll heal over time, or you can um, alt fire to heal yourself. So, what this means is so let's go over them first off. Barrier Orb is just a simple wall which has four segments to it, and each segment takes around an entire mag to burn. I've currently got infinite ammo on, so if we was to take that off for a second. That basically took an entire mag of mine to take that out. So that's how strong it is, just for one part. You can also knife it. Knifing's also became quite a lot stronger to destroy these. So just be careful with that. But um, these are really good for blocking off rotations and blocking off people from pushing onto sites. So say if you're say if you're on Haven and you're um, single, like you're single defending C, and someone comes to you and they start pushing C, what you can do is you can. From an angle, so you don't put yourself into a euro line of sight, you can just go here and you've got two methods you can do to fully block it off. You can press the same button which which you've done before to open up your wall to rotate it 90 degrees. I could then place it here and it'd be a nice block off. However, they'd still be able to get in here and then maybe the jet could come up here and then go get over to here. So another thing you could do, apart from this 90 degree rotation, is you can hold right click and you can rotate it in any direction you want. Uh, all you need to do for this is you just need to be moving your mouse left and right depending on the way you want it. So say, say if I'm coming over to here and I don't have enough to fully cover it, if I hold right click and quickly go to the left, it will rotate to the left and then I can place the wall here to block off seashore. So that's the basis of the wall. You can also use the wall here to um, to get yourself up on things and also get um, other teammates up on things. This can be good for um, teammates not expect um, enemies not expecting it. Say if they're up the wall here, you could be on top here and just fire down from here. Or say if they're shooting the wall from afar, you can just go tap them like this. But that's mostly the basis of the wall. Just know that people can also go over it using rays or um, such stuff like jet. So just be careful for anything like that, or say if there's like a high platform like here, like you're able to get onto, you can't get onto this without using a raise or a jet skill or an omen teleport. But stuff like, say if I was to put this like roughly around right here, you can you could just jump up and then just jump onto the wall. So be careful of that and be careful where you place them. Of course, this wasn't a good example, but it's just something to just to get out of the way. Alright, so second off, we've got Sage's um, Slow Wall, which recently got nerfed. But basically, what it does is it will freeze up an entire, like a massive radius of where it detonated. And it, if you step it, it lasts a little, like, little less from what you used to because of the nerf. But if you step in it, you'll, um, 
as you can see, I'm quite slow. It used to be a bit slower, but because of the nerve, it's our own. You can now move a bit faster within it. However, when, whenever you're in it, people can hear you walking through it, as you can hear those small cracks. And that will happen if people are to enter your eyes. Something which you can do to counter it is if you go into it and you hold shift. Um, at the start, when you go in, people will hear the ice break to say that you're in the like, the slow area. However, if you hold shift, um, people may not know if you're still in there. So this would be good if you're trying to slow push something and just get stuck in a slow orb. They won't know if you're there or not, so you can keep pushing and they will probably move away. Something which you'll probably be doing later on, something which I've been doing as I've been main in this uh, sage a lot, is learning some room across the map slow wall. So something here, this isn't always a guarantee, but um, when it does land, it lands perfectly for here. So basically it just blocks off anyone trying to push frog to see, and it just means that I have a bit more time to get people to come over to see, just so then I'm not by myself. Another thing you can also do on this map is from the back of sight, if you aim for the roof right here, you fire it, it will land straight onto B, meaning that if anyone's trying to quickly peek from B, they'll be blocked off, meaning that they'll have to stay on sight as everyone else is able to push. And that's mostly what you can do with a slow orb. You can also, like I said, you can bounce off the wall, so you can play a bit more safe, a uh, sage, which you should be doing because you are a support character, you are a healer. And if you die early on during the round, you're basically ruining the rest of the round for your team. But the best thing to do with your slow orb as well, if you know people are pushing but you don't want to peek, just try and hit it off the wall or something, and try and make sure, uh, as long as you know where it lands, so say if I fire it here, I know it's going to land around here and it'll cover this radius. Don't just fire it randomly, like say up over here, and it just messes up like that. Because then you've just wasted a slow warp and the enemies already know that you're there. But they can push on freely because you didn't aim your slow warp correct. Alright, and now we've got Sage's heal orb. So what it does is if you are aiming at a friendly who needs a heal. Um, like say if they've taken a bit of damage. You can left click onto them and it will heal over time. Or say if you've taken a lot of damage yourself. You could right click and do the same to yourself. This is a regeneration heal. It isn't an instant heal. So please... If you're healing, make sure to make sure not to peek because you're just going to waste that heal and you're just going to die immediately. So if I just show you, for example, if I jump here, I just took some damage. I can right click and I'll heal over time. Also notice that little um, circle going around next to where it says healing. That means that it's the regeneration. That also means if you do take damage during that regeneration period, it will stop the healing for now. And continue until the healing circle is done until like the re regeneration is done so that's something you also need to take into um, take into account that if you do take damage while you are trying to heal that you're not going to get full health immediately whereas if you was to like say if you stay heal and you don't take any damage you you will immediately get your uh, heal back well no you will immediately get to full health my bad and finally we've got the resurrection ultimate now this is very situational and you want to be very careful with how you use this I, i've got none with me at the moment to show off but it, this is good in say if you, um, situations where you're outnumbered so say you're in a 2v4 or a 3v5 or say you're in a 1v1 and you don't um, favor your odds so you can resurrect a teammate and you can make it into a 2v1 and have a better chance of winning the round but don't take the resurrection ultimate for granted you only get one of these and it's really hard to get back it's uh, one of the longer ones you have to wait for you need to get seven points so either deaths kills or alt orbs or just planting the bomb or defusing whichever one but however you want to be making sure that you keep hold of this for good moments you can also use this during economy so say if your team are on, like after like a bit behind on economy and a teammate dies when you win a round you can revive them so you can save their economy a bit and mean that they'll have extra money going forward. But there's a lot of key factors which go into when you, when and when you shouldn't be your, um, uh, resurrecting. So always make sure like you know what's going to happen or you know what your odds are. It may be hard to guess at some points, but um, yeah, it's just you need to just be able to um, play safe with Sage. Play passive, play some support character, help other people, and help just to um, 
slow enemies from taking out your team to get and also make sure that your your slows are helping your team impact the game by trapping other enemies so then your teammates can get picks or maybe yourself get a pick but guys that's it for today's video let me know what you thought of this um sort of content idea and if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe like i said at the beginning also make sure to check out all my social links down below but yeah guys that's it for me and i'll see you all next time peace out